Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Well, I have uh, kind of a really cool technique today. I don't, I don't know that anybody else has talked about it. I'm sure it's been done before, but I kind of uh, stumbled upon this, and it's really kind of compression on steroids. It's a really cool sounding compression. It's almost like an all button Zen mode for the 1176, but it's for any compressor that is stereo and has a uh, uh, basically like a master stereo link. So any compressor that could be linked together, you can actually do this trick. It sounds really, really cool. Stick around. So I first stumbled upon this technique right at my patch bay, and it was as easy as just uh, taking a patch out of the digital input and feeding it right back into channel two of a stereo compressor. Now, at the time, I was considering just, you know, one side and the other side, almost like uh, two different compressors. And I thought, yeah, you know, I could actually compress this twice in kind of a serial way, one right after the other. But then I decided, you know, what if I hit the link button? What does that do to the sound of the compression? And this is where things started to get interesting. Cause in every moment You got a decision To stay deaf Or to listen To a higher mind A higher mind A higher mind A higher mind I tried it with some other uh, compressors that were more set up as a left and right. And here the output is not necessarily increasing the amount that is going into my uh, return into my DAW. In fact, it's going right into channel two, which then gets compressed even more. And with a stereo compressor, this is just causing it to kind of double back on itself and trigger more aggressive compression. I'm seeking hope It's where I choose to go When the world around me has been nothing but scars Cause in every moment You got a decision To stay blind Or unlock the vision to a higher mind. So some of these are stereo compressors. I'm not sure exactly how some of these work, but there's kind of a, a sum of um, information that the detector sees. And so in certain cases, the output of channel one may just lead to more compression on channel two. And of course, with more compression, it's also reapplying that compression to channel one, not just the second channel. Uh, really, really bizarre kind of things going on here. Uh, then you have the uh, kind of the linking of two compressors. So you could do this with like the DBX uh, 160X, 160XT, 163X. Um, here we have the 903 uh, linked together. And in this case, we have uh, kind of an option. We could go first into the channel left and then into channel right, link the two together. Or we could go into channel right first, then channel left and the channel right is linked to the channel left. And yeah, really interesting combinations. I'm seeking hope. It's where I choose to go. When the world around me has been nothing but scars. I'm seeking hope. It's where I choose to go. When the world around me has been nothing but scars I'm seeking hope It's where I choose to go When the world around me has been nothing but scars One of my favorites is the DBX-163 which is the old wood-sided ones and 
with uh, kind of the, com the signal doubling back on itself. It's a really cool sounding compression for bass guitar and only two to four dB max of compression. So another interesting idea is to actually split this up. So instead of going, you know, right out of one side of the compressor and directly into the other, you actually could first go back into the DAW at a slight delay of maybe two or three milliseconds, then come back out to the second half of the compressor. The compressor is still linked between the channels and what you get is a really interesting offset and uh, attack curve and, and such. Uh, it's almost like a Chinese finger trap where the harder you pull out, the more it clamps down. And here in the compressor we have uh, like the output, for example, we can push the output, but then that only drives into the second channel and then that compresses it more. So it doesn't actually give you more output. So really, really curious uh, results here and definitely something to play with. And it just has a very, very unique sound to it, um, especially when the compressor is trying to figure out how to compress and the output of one is feeding right back into the detector input and causing more compression. It's very, very reactive. Closest thing I could think is like an all buttons mode on 1176. That actually sounds kind of cool. You know, I could use that. So I'd love to know what you think of this. This is a cool one. Yeah. Let me know in the comments below. See you there.